Hi everyone, this is Dr. Elliot and a few of you had questions and concerns about uh, getting around the classroom because uh, you're new to online learning. So I just wanted to give a brief tour here and hopefully this helps and, and obviously if, if there are questions either still after this or resulting from this, let me know. But um, I wanted to make something so everybody benefited because I'm sure if one or two of you have a question, uh, there's probably more than that. So here's Quip when I first open it. And one thing I suggest, and I'll kind of do a tour with suggestions here, is there's a favorites bar here. So in here, I have favorites. So I'm going to go in a slightly different way. I can select the course, right click it, and I can add it to favorites. And what I do is each semester, I take the courses for that semester, and I put in my favorites. So when you first go into the course, and, and what it is is a series of documents and folders, um, you'll see these items. We have a chat room, which is where I make general overall statements, and I suggest that if you have questions, you put them there. Like if there's general questions, not specific to your grade, maybe not, you know, just overall stuff. And one thing you'll see here is it says everyone. If you use an at symbol, you can tag people. So here I can tag uh, Kelly or Maria. I can also tag everyone. So when I make an announcement for the class, I'll do at everyone. Um, so I suggest if you're trying to get, you know, do a general question, tag everyone. And everybody knows, hey, listen, uh, somebody uh, is looking to get my attention and they go to look. And if it's me, do this because as, as you'll see during the semester, this will, you know, kind of add up. And, and so it's easy to something kind of fall through the crack. So, and, and while we're in the chat room, I'll also occasionally post resources like somebody asked me about using Atavist or Adobe Spark. So I dropped in some little tutorials here. Um, and then, you know, you go back. I don't want to send that message. Um, the next thing I have here is a calendar. I put all the due dates in here. And what I have is, let's say a unit starts on like a Tuesday morning. Um, in the past, one of the pieces of feedback I've gotten is that an assignment closing on a Sunday night was tough. I didn't fully understand why. I don't really get it, but enough people said it. It was like, okay, let's do it. And what I do is I do, if, an, if a, a unit or a module closes on Monday, the next one closes, opens on Tuesday. It really opens Monday night. And then what I ask you to do is do an initial post, because there's discussions in most cases, by Wednesday. But the overall discussion closes the next Monday. The reason why I do that initial post is because in you know 90% of the, the modules, you're asked to do an initial post and then respond to at least two peers. So if everybody starts their post on Saturday night, it leaves a lot of people in a bad situation where now I have nobody to, I've done my initial post, I have nobody to respond to because I'm still waiting on other people. So you do that Tuesday, that Wednesday night piece and you can, um, and it gets that initial post and so people have something to respond to. A uh, little side piece, you can see the conversations and the edits, one thing I like to do. It's hide the conversation just so I get a, a fuller screen, partially because I'm old and I can see it easier. Um, some resources here. It's just a list of you know different resources. Um, nothing too earth shattering there. There's a read me first here, and this is the syllabus. The read me first. You should have seen it by now. Uh, there's also a read me first in each module. So you open it. This. Future modules doesn't really concern you right now because what I do is it is sometimes people read ahead and they get a little confused. So what I'll do is at the each I bring future modules from that. So uh, course assignments. Whenever there's something where you have to link it, it'll be in here. So not yet, but when the time comes, you'll take your Twitter chat reflection, you'll create a Google Doc, you'll share it, you get a link, and you'll copy and paste it in here. And a lot of these things, because I'm just giving you an overview, I'll go into more detail once we get to that point. So there's a getting to know you. I believe that most of you have done it at this point, if not all. Um, and then there's a theoretical backgrounds piece. Now, this is overall what you'll see in terms of layout in most of the units. There's a readme first, which tells you It opens, okay. It'll give you the agenda, the unit objectives. There will be maybe a lecture or maybe a list of resources you have to look at which kind of serve as the lecture. Uh, give you the background information. 
And, and just so you know, you're always, always, always please encouraged to go and find your own resources too, to add to the discussion. Because if we're all just going off the same exact resource, it's going to be a pretty boring discussion. Just read me first. Uh, in most cases, there will be a help desk where you can just pop in and ask uh, quick, specific questions. And then there's the discussion. So I see a couple people have already started. Great. Uh, there'll be a question. You type on the bottom. Uh, one thing I would ask in the future is just type your name in regular print and maybe you, know, you can. So I see Medina here and I'm just going to make a little edit. Do something like that and then what you can do is you can make it a little bigger because that makes it easier when I'm grading. Like I go and check the quality and everything but because a lot of you are new to online learning, a lot of the initial assignments are completion only. So as long as you've met certain criteria, you've done the post and all that, you automatically get your, your points, which for a discussion uh, piece is 20 points. Um, the reason why a lot of those initial posts or, or, or assignments are completion only is because I, I understand, as I've said before, that a lot of you are acclimating to online learning so I don't I want you to be able to kind of get it get away from to do it right do it, you know because I'll, I'll guide that but it kind of you know makes it so you have one less thing to worry about and, and concentrate more on you know getting it done and, and working on expanding your learning so I see here um, and, and harmony I'll, I'll drop a piece in there too so we separate that make sure I'm spelling this right it would probably help once again, I'll make it a little bit bigger. I see that, um, for instance, Medina, she has a big piece here. She brings in, she mentioned, you know, she cites her outside resources. I will tell you that um, you're not you're not writing a paper, like a research paper. So there are times when you're just speaking from your experiences, um, and that's fine. When I say, you, you know, cite your sources, it's if you draw from an outside source, cite it. One, you know, you're talking, you know, academic honesty. And, but the other thing is I might, in my head, be like, oh, that's interesting. Let me go look at it. And that allows me to go see where it came from. Because like I said, uh, I think in, in one of my introductions or something was that one of the great things about this course is that I learned stuff also. So I might see that you said something and, and go check it out on my own. It's not me checking up on you. It's not me like questioning your integrity. It's me just really being curious. So I see that there's, uh, she said it quite a bit here. Uh, I'm going to look at the pieces here. And I see Bridget and Harmony. They, you know, they're talking about processing. I see uh, evidence of um, Bloom's taxonomy on the higher end of the spectrum. Uh, Harmony mentions, and, and, and Harmony, I hope you're not looking at this and, and getting upset because because what I'm doing is I'm saying you're doing it right. Um, she's drawn in some resources. She's really processing this. So I see that people are really going through this. Um, and then Harmony. As her piece and I see that somebody uh, Bridget has responded to her so so these right off the bat I don't want to leave Bridget out I don't want to upset her uh, Bridget has her comments Harmony responds to her and so what I see here in my estimation besides poor spelling on my part once again is I, I swear I'm actually a really good spelling uh, what I see is is three really good examples of one initial posts and two um, th there's a dialogue going on here okay um, so right now you see essentially that you have okay you go in the read me first here's my discussion okay I'm gonna participate I got all my resources from here and 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 you know so you guys you know at least the three people in that one um, Bridget Harmony and Dina, you know, you, you guys are right on. So, and, and I'm sure the rest of you are just, you, you know, maybe you're just waiting to see what's going on here and get in there also. So, um, at least the three of you are right on track. And the rest of you now know that you can look at that and go, okay, that's what, that's what it's expected. Um, obviously, keep track of what you need to link in here. Right now, it's just a Twitter ha handle. Um, Keep an eye on due dates in here. Uh, keep, you know, chat room. You have the questions, and 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 you know, 
I'll drop in and make comments here and there in terms of like, you know, guiding you and everything. I'm trying to just give you an overview of the course right now because I don't want to overwhelm you either. Um, like I said in the beginning, a couple of you have questions you're concerned about being new to online learning. I hope this helps. If you have more questions or you need further clarification, by all means, reach out to me. Uh, if it's a really good question, but you kind of slide it in on email, I may respond to it in the chat room or something simply, you know, so everybody benefits. But, but like with this video, for instance, um, only the people asking the question know, know, you know, who they are. So um, thank you and have a happy Friday and a great weekend. And uh, I'll talk to you all later. Thanks. Hope you're enjoying the course so far. Uh,